started uh, America's Mighty Warriors uh, in response to my son's amazing last letter home. Mark was the first Navy SEAL that was killed in Iraq August 2, 2006, and as you can imagine, that was a day that forever changed my life. Uh, we were notified that he had been killed, and we started to get phone calls from his teammates over uh, in Iraq and started to piece together what he'd done, and it was 115 to 120 degrees that day in Ramadi, Iraq. They'd been in an intense firefight for two hours. You may remember back in 2006, that's where the majority of our casualties were coming from. And Mark carried the big gun, so he carried anywhere from 150 to 180 pounds in addition to his own weight. How you do that in those extreme temperatures is beyond me. Uh, they were, there were four of them on the rooftop that day, and Mark's buddy Ryan had been severely injured. The bullets had hit his gun, and so he had severe shrapnel injuries to the head, and they could tell by looking at him it didn't look good. They didn't know if he would survive, and two of the SEALs quickly dropped to their knees to help Ryan. Mark could have made that very same choice, but his choice that day was to stand up in the line of fire right where Ryan had just been shot. He carried the big gun. He knew he could lay down some suppressor fire, and he did that. He held the enemy off long enough to get the medic up to the roof, and the medic took one look at Ryan, and he said, we've got to get him out of here immediately, or there's no chance for survival. So not once, but again a second time, all by himself, Mark made the choice to stand up in that line of fire to provide that cover so they could get down off the roof and get medical attention for Ryan. They were successful, got him down, sent him off, and they got in their Bradleys and they climbed back in there and headed back to the base, which I'm proud to tell you was named Camp Mark Lee in his memory after he passed. I had the privilege of visiting there in 2007 and got to see where he slept and brought back some of that soil where that young man gave his life. But as they got back to that base, they started to rip off their gear and they got some water to refresh themselves. And I remember Chris Kyle telling me later they were pretty sure that Ryan had died. They didn't think he could survive his injuries. And we watched our Navy SEALs do some absolutely amazing things. And times they seem superhuman to us. But those are my boys now. They're just as real as you or I are. And as they tried to process possibly losing Ryan and got some water to refresh themselves, the chief came in and said, we just found 30 of the insurgents that just attacked us. And without hesitation, Mark looked at his chief and he said, Roger that, let's go get him. They were on the other side of their base was a Marine base. They could have gone and gotten some Marines that were fresh and hadn't been out in combat. But that's not who these guys are. And they climbed in their Bradleys and they headed back to that godforsaken town. They cleared several houses and they went in the last house that Mark would be in. They cleared the bottom of the house and they started up the steps and they heard Mark yell, on me! And if you've served, you know what they were saying. Mark was saying, I got the lead on this. You guys follow me. And as they went up those steps, they drew fire through a window. And for the last and final time, Mark made the choice to stand into the line of fire again. He willingly gave his life to save his teammates. And those freedoms passed down to you and to I. And we enjoy those every single day. And as you can imagine, it's the toughest thing I've ever had to endure. And I didn't have any choice, the news that was given to me that day. But I did have a choice how I responded. And my choice was to put on Mark's boots and pick up his weapon and stay in the fight for every man and woman who served, stay in the fight for every other family who's lost a loved one. And we started America's Mighty Warriors in response to his amazing last letter home. Part of that letter was read in the movie American Sniper, and you can go to our website at americasmightywarriors.org and read that amazing letter that's inspired millions of people around the world. We started with the random acts of kindness that he talks about in that letter. When was the last time you paid for a stranger's cup of coffee, a meal, or a tank of gas? And we do those for our veterans and for our Gold Star families. We've increased that program so we go up to a $5,000 grant for our veterans who are in crisis situations to be able to help them. We have retreats that we do in Texas for our Purple Heart recipients and their families. And for Gold Star families as well, we do two retreats a year. We have a home in Arizona called the Heroes Hope Home, and we've just added a new one in Florida called the Serenity Hope Home, where families of the fallen can come stay for free. And we just love on them and pamper them and let them know we'll never forget their hero, and we won't ever forget them. We do advocacy and education, so if there's an injustice against the troops, we'll step in and make that right, whether it's a corporation, our government, whoever. Our veterans can't speak out when they're serving, but we can be that voice for them and make sure that they're taken care of. And then we have a program called Helping Heroes Heal, and with that we're paying for hyperbaric oxygen therapy, hormone therapy, vitamin therapy, uh, travel costs to a program called Mighty Oaks for our veterans who have PTS and TBI. 
it's our responsibility to take care of our veterans and their families when they come back home. And so please join us. We'll be here at uh, Desert Wind Harley on Saturday. We'll an amazing event. There'll be bands out here, free food. We'll have our merchandise uh, set up. And uh, we'll have our Mark Lee action figure that we'll be selling raffle tickets for. There are only 500 of these made. And you can no longer get them only through um, us. So this is an amazing replica of Mark, of his gear. And uh, it's an honor. It was very surreal when I got the, the prototype for this. And uh, you never think as a mother that you'll see your child's name on a granite wall or in a book or in a movie. Uh, no less than action figure. But when our heroes do what they do, they need to be honored. They need to be remembered. So please come join us. Uh, thank you for your support. You can check us out at americasmightywarriors.org.